What's up, Cyberhawks? It's your man, Eric. And today video, I just wanted to do a quick one to remind you guys to renew your comp certifications. I currently have four certifications with them in my network. Plus one was on the wire. Thankfully, I was able to get it recertified the day of. And I learned a lot during that process. But yeah, you can, whatever date it has on your, on your certification or for the expiration date, you can still get it done that day. I think it has to get done by like UTC, like 1600 or something along those lines. So like if you're in Dallas, Texas, I believe that was like at either 6.59 p.m. or 5.59 p.m. And I was able to get it done. Oh man, that, that day I downloaded it that night and I'll show you guys the uh, process I went to. I went to uh, this site here. Let me just bring that up. So yeah, I went to the uh, CompTIA website and like I needed to get the network plus finished because I did not want to take this test again. This is the one I failed like, I think two or three times. And then I was able to pass it. And I'm like, you know what? I don't feel like taking this one again. And I wanted to get my A plus core one and core two also, you know, completed. I didn't want to, you know, deal with taking all those tests again. So yeah, on their website, you can just go down. You can just type in on Google, the cert master, or just getting your continuing education, you know, for whatever one you're looking for, for me with network plus, and it does cost money, $190, but yeah, it's saying it takes about eight to 10 hours. That's definitely true. It took me about, yeah, it took me about eight, nine, yeah, probably about eight or nine hours. The reading material is a bad, it's like all self-paced. So like you can, you can skip all through it if you want to or you can like read through each page if you want to as well the hard part is the actual tests because you need to get a hundred percent and a lot of those i was getting like 90 plus percent but you need a hundred percent so if you, even if you miss one you have to take that whole test again so yeah it threw me off at first because i i was not aware of that so i'm kind of just going through I'm seeing, you know, I'm seeing I'm being 90s. I'm, I'm thinking I'm doing good. But then when I got to the fourth one, the fourth section, it was five sections in the network plus one. I saw that my progress bar was stuck on one. It said one out of five. Then I looked and yeah, I said you needed to have freaking hundred percent on each one. So I had to go back and try to get hundred percent on each one. And that take a minute, but I was able to get it done that day right before, like literally like right, like an hour or two before it got expired. So feeling, you know, I was feeling good. I'm feeling very accomplished, but it was definitely stressful. Especially that last one. I'm like, dang, I'm on a wire. I don't know how I'm just now, I guess, seeing my emails regarding this. It could like, they'll email you like 30 days, I think prior and then like 90 days prior. So when they hit you with that first email, that's when I would go in and just go in and start knocking it out. You can do like one domain a week. It could be easy peasy and you can be done versus being like myself, we really stressed out, but I was able to do it pay 190 versus paying what like four or 500 for the uh, certification but yeah it's self-paced you can go through it you know at ease you can also use the internet as well i guess since it's like self-paced like it's not like you taking a test online from comptia where they had to check you they have cameras they check your whole your whole desktop you know screen recording that and none of that so you are able to use outside sources i guess if you need you know if need be so, you know, that's, that's definitely a plus. And another reason that you should go ahead and get it renewed versus letting it expire and then having to take the test and you're not having to have the, you know, extra accessibility from everywhere. So, you know, this is something to think about right there. There's you know, some, something to think about. I will definitely, I will definitely be sure to look at those emails from CompTIA, add them to your favorites or whatnot so that it comes to your main focus, ro you know, not robot, but your main focus inbox. But uh, yeah, you do. I'm reading it right now. You do have 12 months of the training or 12 months of access to the training. So that's great there. So again, you don't have to wait until the day of like me. You can you, like a year prior, you can go ahead and just start taking this. However, I want to make a quick note on this too. Inside the program, once you get the 12, you know, the 12 months or whatever, like it gives you like, it gives you how many days that you are, that you have access to the program. That does not mean that you have those extra days of access to actually renew once your certification is expired it's expired so you can buy this the day of and not finish it the day of and your certification will be expired and you could be like okay well i still got 80 days left however you can wait those full 80 days or you can get it done the next five days it won't matter it will not go it will not go back and 
unexpire your certification. So once it gets expired, it's expired. So you have to be mindful of that if you see like extra days or whatnot, if you get this, because it threw me off at first too, because I'm like, okay, cool. I bought it. And now I have an extra 90 days or extra, you know, hundred plus days to do this. No, you actually don't have that at all. No, you don't. <laughs> you still got to get it done before it get expired. However, if you're somebody who thinking ahead, like I'm going to be going further on this, you're able to knock it out, you know, year ahead if you wanted to. But yeah, guys, I just want to make a quick video that, yeah, I am back certified as you guys saw from the PDF that I had at the beginning. I'm back with my network plus feeling good, feeling great, mad to do some network, you know, network plus um, training questions or something along those lines as well with you guys, you know, who are currently trying to take that certification. But yeah, good luck on your network certification or recertification. But yeah, the CE from CompTIA is fast. Again, eight to 10 hours and yeah, it's self-paced. So you can do it how fast or how slow that you would like it. The main thing is just to test the questions there were like, I had five domains. So like the first four were like 20 to 24 questions about that. I think number one was like 18 questions and the other ones were like 20 to like 24. And then the last one, domain five was like four or five questions. So yeah, the last one, the last domain was a whole lot easier than the other ones. The, the first one, and the last one were easiest, the two, three, and four were the harder for me. But those questions will kind of have you thinking. And like there's different difficulties as well. Like they're like easy, and then there's like expert, difficult, and moderate. So you have like four categories of questions as well. So kind of just be mindful of that too if you're thinking about taking this. But yeah, if you are thinking about getting recertified, I think I think the CompTIA route is the probably fastest and easiest. First, you're trying to get CE credits or tokens in other ways, unless you like already going to school or something for it. But yeah, guys, just want to go ahead and make a quick video on that. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Peace.